What is going on Drive2 crew? Ramdi here once again on this really hot summer day. I'm sweating. Uh, I'm here to bring you guys a brand new vlog video that showcases my action figure collection. Now this is going to be the third in a series of collection videos because as you guys can see I have a lot so I've decided to um, record each one of them one video at a time. So the first video was that one that was my MCU collection. Second video was this one right here, which is my general Marvel Universe collection. And this time around, I'm going to be tackling this wall right here, which is my X-Men uh, Fantastic Four, uh, some Avengers collection right there. If you guys don't know, uh, I do have a main channel where I, where I do drawing tutorial videos. And so if you guys are interested in, you know, uh, drawing tutorials, learning how to draw characters from comic books, from movies, uh, TV shows, video games, that kind of thing. If you guys are into that stuff, make sure you check out my main channel. Now, anyway, on my main channel, this is kind of where I have my camera propped. And you'll see that is the background of my, yeah, that is the background. So that's kind of why I have things displayed the way that they are. Uh, also, uh, I did mention in my two other collection videos that the reason why I'm making this is because I am moving to a new house. So this is like a video recording that uh, I can use as a reference for when I take these apart, move them to our new house, and then putting them back on on the wall, so that, like reassembling these things. So at least I have this as a reference photo, so or reference video. So I thought I'd take you guys along for a ride. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. Let's uh, get started with this collection. So you guys, taking a step back, this is what you see. This is my wall. Oh, I apologize. That is the I actually just put a flashlight on my camera there. That was the string for it. Uh, yeah, so that's the wall right there. So before we actually begin anything, I do want to mention that I am a teacher. Uh, that is my day job. I'm a school teacher and because of COVID-19, we have had to teach online. And that is my backdrop for my uh, home classroom. Yeah, that's my COVID classroom is what I call it. Anyway, so let's go and uh, talk about these floating shelves first. This right here is my Avengers collection. This is like my favorite Avengers figures. In my last video, if you guys have seen it, you'll probably notice that I have Avengers right there as well. But this right here is what I like to call my classic Avengers with my favorite Marvel Legends versions. You can see the wasp there is kind of right behind Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. And I do once again apologize for the focus, the lack of focus on this video sometimes because the autofocus is kind of just crazy. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, I do want to mention that that Black Widow right there is a kit bash of the new Black Widow in the white suit and the vintage Black Widow. I like that a lot. That is not the Build-A-Figure Giant Man from Toy Biz. I do have that one. It's just not here in this country. I live in Thailand. Uh, I started my collection, uh, so mostly most of my Toy Biz figures are in Canada. Yeah, I started my collection over there and then I've been moving ever since. Pretty cool. Going to this one right here. This, of course, is Fantastic Four some of my favorite figures to date from Marvel Legends, especially this thing right here. This is, like Thing is one of my favorite characters and this is one of my favorite action figures. Now this um, Fantastic Car part is actually from like series five of Toy Biz. And then I had to have two uh, human torches, one of them flaming and the other one kind of not flaming or just about to flame on. I got the head, of course, from the newest uh, human torch that just uh, that was just released in the Super Scroll Build a Figure Wave. Uh, I replaced the arms there, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. But you know, you know, the rest of the body is the same body as this guy. That is my YouTube play button. You kind of see me doing a peace sign on the on there, but that is for surpassing 100,000 subscribers on my main channel. Pretty cool. 
And of course, you got the silver play button, you got the silver surfer guarding it. Pretty awesome. So that's my non-X-Men stuff. So let's start doing X-Men. Here are my two main X-Men shelves. Now this used to be just the blue and gold stripe teams from the uh, Jim Lee uh, era of, uh, of X-Men. However, uh, because of running out of space, I've decided to put a whole bunch of other X-Men along with them. So it's not quite Jim Lee era anymore. It's not quite uh, the, you know, X-Men number one uh, main characters. So there you go. I do have that Cyclops. I do have that Rogue that I bought for retail price. Surprising, like really crazy how expensive they've become. And here you will notice that there are a couple of characters that are out of place. Nightcrawler does not belong in this team. He belongs in Excalibur. Emma Frost at the time was a villain. This Emma Frost was actually a custom that I had made from uh, an Enchantress, an extra Enchantress figure that I had. I put the Emma Frost, Walgreens exclusive Emma Frost on it, and I put the Hasbro Series 1 uh, Annihilus, I believe it was Annihilus Build-A-Figure Emma Frost cape on it, but that cape is so heavy and she's wearing heels that it's buckling her feet. And that's the annoying part about these figures, about these, uh, uh, the lady figures that Hasbro has been putting out is that they're just weak at the knees. So I'm looking forward to the new like pinless technology that is supposedly going to improve the knee situation or the leg situation for the females. That's another custom that I made right there. That is a uh, retro storm, the white one that has been repainted by me using uh, chrome silver. I also repainted the uh, this thing right here, which I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but it actually turned out pretty good. So silver costume Aurora Monroe, which I do believe she does wear a silver costume anyway. So that's the reason for that. There you go. Jean's kind of falling over. Again, problem with the legs on the female figures. They tend to bow. Oh, just bumped into my desk. All right, so that is that, you guys, uh, for the floating shelves. Now I'm going to go into the uh, the top of the shelf here. Not Marvel Legends, but I'll point them out anyway. That's just a foam storm stormbreaker that I got from the uh, uh, from like the novelty store. This is a poster that I made of Stan Lee. So I, I drew that one myself. I made that poster myself. These are popcorn buckets right here, the BB-8, the uh, T-800, and the R2-D2. They're popcorn buckets, but I do put money in them instead, okay? And these right here, they're not like that, that Infinity Gauntlet right there, the Captain America shield and uh, uh, Thor's hammer. Those aren't, um, they're not like the Hasbro, like legit Hasbro products. They're uh, third party stuff that I got from China. Including this one. This is actually also from China. The Eye of Akamoto. Pretty cool. I got this for my birthday. It originally did have a potted cactus in there, but then the cactus grew uh, some mold and it died, so I haven't replaced it. And this is the Build-A-Figure uh, Brood Queen. Really cool. Problem is, the reason why it's up here is because there's just, it's such an awkward figure because it's low and it's wide that there's just no place for it in the collection. So I had to put it up at the top. Anyway, so that's the top. Let's go zoom in on the, uh, on each individual shelves. Starting over here, I'm gonna crouch down. Apologies for the focus again. And yeah, down here I have just generic uh, other X-Men that are not blue and gold strike team, I guess, or multiples of them. There you go. Just adjusting the light a little bit. Uh, and a whole bunch of other ones. So mutants, X characters, they're all in here. 
yeah, a bunch of duplicates like that bishop in the back. I have a, a new bishop that uh, Age of Apocalypse Sunfire is in the back there. I already have a new one. This is where I put my X-Force because I don't have a dedicated X-Force shelf yet. And some of my Age of Apocalypse um, figures because I don't have a dedicated Age of Apocalypse shelf. Also Alpha Flight. I put this guy in the front, of course, because I am from Canada. He's Canadian. He's also Canadian. So thought Alpha Flight on here. Also Excalibur, that's why I got Captain Britain at the top. And also Inhumans, that's why I got Black Bolt. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, there's long shot is over there behind Shaman kind of leaning forward. We need to replace that guy quickly. And also I have a Banshee, which it's hard to see, but he's over there behind Magneto there. Needs to be replaced as well. So generic mutant teams, heroes. Now here we have the X-Force from different eras of X-Force. Multiple, some multiple figures here. So like multiples of the same character. So not too, what was I saying? Anyway, yeah, I got distracted by this cable right here. This Mezco cable is one of the best figures ever put out by Mezco. Love that figure. And it just, it scales so well with the, uh, the rest of them that, you know, I'm just putting him here with my display. I've, I have a few more cable figures. I have a cable over there in front of a uh, warlock. And then I have a cable over there in the very back. And then I have like the old toy biz cables right there. I have, yeah, I have the two cannonballs that, are, that were produced by Hasbro. I have a custom uh, warpath over there because I never did get that warpath um, from the two pack that came with Deadpool. And then we got one of those, so I got a custom, I made a custom. Also new mutants I put on here instead. So you got the uh, Wolfsbane, uh, Karma, and Danny Moonstar, also known as Mirage. That's how I met her. I met her as Mirage. Over here now you've got the female uh, X-related characters, female mutants, heroes, so a bunch of them together. Some of them same character, like I got the, I got that storm and then I got this storm right here, buckling now at the leg so I have to change the pose again. Snowbird, I got five of those uh, Stafford cuckoos. Another storm in the back, another Polaris in the back. Got two Dazzlers on here. I also got Medusa. This shelf right here is like, I get annoyed with it because they topple over. Like this, for example, this storm right here, uh, the legs are soft, but she's so top heavy because of the size of her hair. And so she falls down quite often. So does she. So they do need to be put on uh, on stands. But um, yeah, maybe I'll do that when I start displaying them again in the brand new house. So there's that. Let's go one down now. This is my dedicated Wolverine uh, collection right here. Not all of them actually. So as you guys can notice, I have a Wolverine in X-Force suit right there. But I also have another Wolverine in an X4 suit down here. And you guys probably noticed up there, I also have a Wolverine you can see him up at the top there. So anyway, this is just a bunch of other Wolverines that were released by Toy Biz and Hasbro, including the, uh, uh, including Hugh Jackman Wolverine from like X2 way back there. A couple of customs. Let me just adjust myself here. Yeah, that is a custom uh, Old Man Logan. I just put a cloth uh, cloth coat on him. Going over here now, this is my 
Deadpool collection. I wasn't the biggest fan of Deadpool, but you know, I did amass quite a bit of Deadpool characters because Deadpool is a figure that Hasbro likes to put out. Now that over there is a knockoff Chinese mecha figure. It's like 10 inches long, 10 inches tall. And that right there is the Kabuki Mono Deadpool. Deadpool in the samurai outfit. So a bunch of Deadpools over here. You guys notice I also put Pikachu there because, you know, Ryan Reynolds. And I also put Hitmonkey over here. And Gwenpool. Ooh. Moving over here now, I do have the uh, original X-Men but like different versions of them. And I just put them all over here. I got the uh, uh, the Professor X from series nine, I believe it was. The Galactus Build-A-Figure. And then just a bunch of Cyclopses, a bunch of Jeans, a bunch of Icemen, a bunch of Beasts, and two Angels in the back. There you go. And then zooming out. Actually, before we go to these bottom shelves, why don't I talk about this one right here? Not a lot in this one. This is for the taller figures. I do have um, the Marvel Universe Days of Future Past Sentinel and also the Build-A-Figure Sentinel there. I have the Sauron. That is the two-pack Juggernaut and that is the Marvel Select Sabretooth. Down here is where I keep um, actually all the effects, all of the accessories and all that stuff. I keep them in these boxes. So if you guys take a look at what's inside, you'll see tons of accessories kind of sorted in a logical sense. This is like swords and spears, hammers, that kind of thing. I got, you know, this one is hands. So if you look at it, it's all the alternate hands that I don't use. bunch of effects and I have heads and I have guns and a whole bunch of other accessories so that's where I keep all of them I save these uh, uh, these rectangular boxes I save them for that purpose now this this and this the three at the bottom are dedicated to the X-Men villains so villain shelf villains 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 these guys were heroes okay so zooming in these are some of my villains. As you guys can see, I repainted the helmet on my Build-A-Figure Juggernaut. Just for fun, really, no reason. I just wanted to, I saw, I saw a custom that somebody made of Juggernaut's helmet being the same color as in Deadpool 2. So I decided to do the same thing and I actually accomplished it using dry brushing. That Avalanche right there has not been released in actual Marvel Legends yet. So we're still waiting on the Marvel Legends Avalanche. So you guys can see I have a Quis Quicksilver down here. Quicksilver was of course a Brotherhood member. And this Toad. Gosh, we need a new one. We need a new Pyro as well. So that's essentially the bro Brotherhood of evil mutants and then also you have onslaught in the back okay here over on this side now you have some apocalypse age of apocalypse kind of related um villains kind of most of them you have a uh, caliban in the back you have uh, the uh, onslaught or sorry holocaust nemesis in the back there spiral uh, my mojo is in Canada. Uh, that is a custom a revanche. I actually don't know how to say her name. Is it revenge? Because it's French. It's a revenge. Revenge in French is a revanche. So I put the. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, but I I put the um, purple-haired uh, Psylocke head on revenge there. 
which is a custom that I just kit bashed together with um, an extra Medusa. Yeah. Anyway, some Age of Apocalypse characters. Sugar Man is over there, kind of hidden, which is sad because I do love that figure. Also put uh, the death version of um, Archangel. And then over here, some more ra randoms. Another Juggernaut. If you guys can see, I've, like you guys probably may have noticed that I have several Juggernauts. I also have a Juggernaut in my Spider-Man villain shelf. Yeah, so more villains right there, including the two Wendigos. Pretty awesome. I put uh, Nuke. I consider him a Wolverine bad guy, so I put him in there. And that's it. So the last thing I do want to mention, I'm going to scoot on over here. I'm sitting on the floor. Uh, this is kind of like custom fodder for like customs. So like I mentioned earlier that we did, I did uh, custom crossbones. I replaced the Hyperion uh, with a Hercules head or with a Hercules body. So there's that. There's a whole bunch of these guys right here, which I would consider, you know, I was going to paint this and turn it into uh, like Deadpool, Mercs, Mercs for money uh, stuff. So like, I'm going to, let me, let me take a few of them out. So I was going to plan on doing a Mercs for money Deadpool team. Still in the works. So there's a few Deadpools that I'm planning on doing that with. Yeah, so there you go. I'm gonna make these guys <laughs> into the Mercs for Money when I do have the time. Some more like Kitty Prides. I'm going to turn into generic X-Men characters. And I have a whole bunch of other ones here. So here's another, here's another one, Madcap. Mercs for Money Madcap. Anyway, so I'll put these back. So this entire thing is like a fodder, fodder shelf right there. And you guys, that is it for this wall right here. Uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in, watching all the way to the very end of this video. If you guys did, I appreciate it a lot. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions about any of the figures or anything like that, let me know in the comments section as well. So next, I'm going to be tackling the detail shelf, which is poorly lit, but it's right there. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I have in my storage, and I'm also going to talk about what I have over here. So I hope it's I hope I can fix the lighting for those ones. But anyway, thank you, you guys, for tuning into this uh, collection uh, tour video. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.